Hi friends, we're Maria Jose and Chase. In 2018, I lost my job. We decided to do things a little bit differently. And since then we've been living as full-time nomads on the road. But for you to understand the whole building process and where we have been for the past three years, we're gonna need to take you all the way back to the beginning. Where we had no idea of what we were doing. This was day one. I took $3,500 out of our savings account after finding out I lost my job. And then I bought our 40 foot school bus. Like many people who start a bus build, no amount of research can prepare you for the gargantuan task it is to make an old vehicle comfortably habitable. Luckily for everyone now, there are a million and one resources regarding how to convert a bus. When we started, the community was much smaller. We knew we'd be traveling with the weather, so we insulated the walls with foam board and chose to keep the original bus ceiling. Plus, we really liked the aesthetic. White paint does wonders in making a small space feel massive, but it takes a miracle to keep it clean while traveling, with or without pets. We knew we needed a ton of storage, so we built large wardrobes over our wheel wells, creating a hallway to the bedroom at the back of the bus and we built bench seats that convert into a queen-size bed at the front. Truthfully, I'd skip the convertible bed sofa areas in the future, unless you know without a shadow of a doubt that people will visit you. We had full intentions to have people stay over, but no takers. We bought appliances from Best Buy, since they will load it for free, and second-hand solar equipment. Our project started in April and ended in August, so most of the time we were building it, it was nearly 100 degrees outside. After cleaning up the roof, we added a thick coat of Henry's Tropicool. This helps reduce heat radiating through to the inside of the bus. And after a week of preparing the bus for paint, we cover it in a muted green oil-based enamel. I really wasn't the most handy person when we started this build, so I was lucky to have my dad and brother as resources to bounce ideas off, and just flat out get their help and input from time to time. And before we knew it, we were finished, slightly over our all-in budget, at just under 16,000 US dollars. Did 
you ever think that you were gonna see the bus go and we moving into a van? Honestly, yes and no. No for the largest majority of the time, because I thought we needed the largest space that we possibly mm -hmm. could. But the moment that we got in our friend Eamon and Beck's van in San Diego, I knew right away we could make this work. It was so much easier than having the big bus and moving around. So I know we were gonna compromise space, but I think we took the right decision. We'll let you decide. The big news is we, we are, are sailing selling the, the bus. bus. Finding a bus is so much easier than searching for a van. That was a total scam. We drove to Miami and dealt with bait and switch professionals for two days before finding our dream van in immaculate condition in California. We had already sold the bus, but we were holding on to it while the new owner, our friend Kathy, was looking for the perfect place to park it. We really took a top-down approach with the van and started with the roof fans and solar panels first. Then, it was to build a frame to house our floor insulation and give extra support where the majority of our foot traffic would be. I had to wait for a warm day to insulate, and I melted into a human soup wearing the hazmat suit. Cutting massive holes in a van is scary as crap, but also really fun. So we work our third, fourth, and fifth massive hole for windows. Maria Jose helped me so much with the van and kept the entire process more fun than I could have imagined. We used 2x2s two as extra arms when we installed our ceiling boards. I totally recommend you save your shoulders and neck by doing this as well. And yes, we painted inside the van after installation rather than outside. Try to paint anything white outside in Tennessee during spring and summer and you'll understand why. That also explains why we go from shorts to coats multiple times in this video. The weather was wild last year. Kathy, who bought the bus, found a great location to park it. So we drove to Austin, Texas to bring it to her. You can visit it and stay a night or two if you're ever in the area. We said goodbye, cry a little, and got right back to finish out the van. Murphy beds are the superior bed option for vehicle conversions. You can try to change my opinion. So we built ours. The hardware and many other things for both of our builds can be found in the description below at our Amazon shop.
Marie Jose wanted a pantry, and I promised I'd build her one. So I did. With the bus build, we utilize skills we learned from YouTube research and consulting family. But with the van build, we had learned everything we needed and more to finish the entire project by ourselves. That's a good feeling. And the finished result is something we were so immensely proud of. What are we building next? What's our next project? I don't know. What do you think we should do next? A Unimog. Oh my goodness, an A-frame. A fuel tanker. Maybe a tiny home. A box truck. Maybe another van. An abandoned missile silo. Chase is going way too crazy, I don't know. Thanks for hanging out with us guys. If you enjoyed this video, we do weekly uploads. We invite you to subscribe and join us along this really abnormal journey of ours. I'm excited to see you next Sunday. Bye!